I kind of figured with Copper Auction introduced last generation that they didn't care about Jonathan at all, and this generation we got two of them. And uh, I, I don't know, they straight off the bat became one of the greatest mons there is, and definitely one of the better ground types ever, being really on par with Landers when it comes to offensive pressure and Great Tusk. The past form of Donphan, in my opinion, probably represents the very finest of what Donphan could have been and really should have been. As Donphan's past form actually sports the fighting and ground type, which first and foremost a phenomenal offensive type, in which a lot of mods would struggle with, barring Togekiss, which is not in game, but. It brings a lot of weaknesses. Defensively, ground and fighting aren't really covering each other's issues and they actually just add up, which is unfortunate. So you're weak to flying, water, grass, psyche, ice, and fairy, while two of those being potential priority. And your resistances, while good, aren't in the plenty and definitely aren't the most common ones. So poison, bug, dark, and quad resistance rock, which I guess makes for a fine switch into stealth rocks. And of course, immunity to electric, but overall, not the best defensive type in, however, its stat will allow it to take a few hits. As Great Tusk really sports a really good defensive type in with a lot of HP, so 115 HP, 131 defense, and 53 in special defense. So, yeah, you know, ISP and Surf and whatnot will take this guy out for sure, but this is a lot of HP to work with, and combine that with a really strong offensive stat, 131 attack, 53 in special attack, yeah. Probably not. It's very clean cut what this guy will do. And 87 in speed will allow it to wall break a lot of months with ease. I can see this choice better set be phenomenal. But also, it works for really strong Scarfer as you really can then think with this speed here. So, overall, extremely good stat distribution. Like I said, very clean cut. It's definitely not a mixed attacker, and I don't believe it should be. And it can take it priority moves that might want to dirt it, you know, Aqua Jet, Nice Charge, this guy can shove those off, it really doesn't matter for it too much, so, well, I like this, but I like its move pull even more. Because due to its level up moves, it learns a few roles for naturally, first and foremost, it can work as a rapid spinner with, well, rapid spin, and you also get close combat, you get head run rush, which is, it, as of now, it's signature move, which is, um, basically a ground-based close combat. So it also has Earthquake in case you don't want to use that, but I think it's a very strong option for it. Uh, and ever if you want to capitalize on that with Focus Sash set and uh, Mega Horn. But overall, really strong level up move pull, like even knockoff, great supporting move, great anti-lead, love it. Its tier move is rather broad and are of really strong relevance, so first and foremost, kind of want to mention against Stealth Frogs. It is a Dolphin after all. Rapid Spin, Stealth Frog goes hand in hand, and it capitalizes on that really well. It also gets Taunt, which means it can be an anti lead. Uh, combined with anti lead, like I said, with the Focus Sash as an ever, we also get Reversal, pretty much making this the strongest reversal Pokemon in the game. Combine it with Bulk Up, and you got a really nasty Mon on your hand. And this is also one of those mods that are defensive that gets body pressed, which means you can run this Pokemon defensive if you want to, and I think that's a great thing for it. Combine that with its physical move pools, which actually are quite great. First and foremost, you get Play Rough and Ice Spinner. Ice Spinner is, in my opinion, like when I use Clay Duel, I use Ice Beam, so Ground and Ice is such a strong combination. It's a reason Mammoth Swine is so dangerous, and this guy cannot cover that. It also gets Rock Slide and Stone Edge. Which basically makes sure that you get the ground rock combination, which is close to unwallable. The only thing walling it is, well, out of ground types, and well, you know, got Ice Spinner for that. Um, you also get, also get Play Rough, and if you want, you can use the Fang move. However, Fire Fang probably is the one of significance here, is because Sister might actually be a potential threat for this Pokemon to be able to deal with it. But overall, really solid move pool, and it really doesn't necessarily need it. When it's like it's very clean cut, what it will do, and it will do that extremely well. When it comes to its terrestrializing form, I've seen two things it worked with, and I think both of them are great. First one is actually double down on ground, making sure you headlong rush to get it with choice pad, going to ruin you. It's gonna ruin you royally. Um, it is really just a phenomenal combination and something I highly recommend using. It is just great. Another form I've seen, which I think is gonna be maybe more used as terrestrializing is getting allowed for a broader meta, is actually terrestrializing water form. Basically, this is a defensive set with Stealth Rocks, Rapid Spin, Terrestrializing Water, Body Press, and Earthquake. 
extremely good defensive type and, and you can also go for just bulk up over Earthquake and really just be a body pressing Mon. And overall this is an extremely strong Pokemon and it can really do well. Water is a great defensive type and, and if it can allow to work with leftovers it's going to be great and I think people are resting or sleeping on this one and I don't think that's going to be for a very long time now. So when it comes to its potential move pools, it has a lot of move pools that it does really well. So it's definitely depending on what your team needs. If you need a ground type that is offensive, Great Tusk is going to be your choice anyway. So with that in mind, yeah, what will it do that is more effective than let's say it's our other form, the Iron Beats, I was going to say. But <laughs> well, first and foremost is um, the choice banner set with the Tresalizing Ground. Headlong Rush or Earthquake is going to be extremely dangerous. Combine that with Close Combat. I spinner and then bulk up or knock off or choice of uh, rock moves basically I, I probably go knock off here as a filler move uh, you can either go rapid spin too and switch out the choice path life orb and um, that's just gonna be great there's really nothing to deal with that head-on it hurts stuff and it hurts it on switching and usually outspeeds them that's a dangerous thing to be forced to be dealing with the other one is a defensive set with body press uh, and threat life from water um, you can also just go or just a defensive set and it should work just fine um the face of dress like water you will be able to w deal with the ones that will hurt you the aqua jets and the potential eye shots uh usually run this set with body press knock off or earthquake together with stealth rocks rapid spinner you can easily switch out stealth rock and rapid spinner for something else if the team needs it but either way it is a good defensive set the anti-lead set is something i think is fun but maybe a bit hard to use uh, basically focus sash stealth rocks and then you have reversal knockoff and close combat it's it's fun it's annoying and if you pull off in an ever and then the switching comes in the slow where you go for reversal that's nasty that's real nasty i love it I <laughs> but overall yeah clearly clear not ideal but m more fun to use you can also use that with taunt to basically negate your opposing pokemon's hazards and i think it's a fine mod indeed yes so yeah, that's gonna pretty much cover it. Now before we go into the more specifics, I just want to tell you guys, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me which Pokemon you want to see next. Um, I really wish this it, my Pokemon was an extension of Donphan. I really wish this was an evolution to it. Um, mainly because I think when they had a Pillow Swine to Mammoth Swine, I wanted a Donphan to the Great Husk. And I just think they would have worked nicely getting the Asian form as a superior one. Uh, but overall, Great is going to be one of the best mods in this generation, and uh, it's not hard to see why. It is a very complete mod with very few issues, and the one issues they had in the low special defense, I'll think isn't necessarily an issue. Um, so with that, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care.